Hi guys, Sony Dubbed here and today I'm doing a video review on the Hi-Fi Man RE600S. Now these are wired earphones that can be found for around $200. At the time of making this video I can actually find them for around $75 on uh, Hi-Fi Man's website which is a huge sale on um, versus the $200 price tag. As such I'll be reviewing it at the $75 price tag. Now, this is a follow-on from the original RE600, which I actually reviewed on my channel back in 2015, so be sure to check that out. Now, um, what you get in the box? Well, you can see there's a pretty nice um, case, which is um, provided. Uh, this will not only store um, the earphones, which can be found over here, but also will find the uh, selection of ear tips. So a bunch of different um, silicon ear tips and a cable tidy management and even dual flying tips as well. And then you've also got a case as well, uh, which also stores the earphones, which I've got them in here. Now in terms of the earphones themselves, um, they're terminated by a straight 3.5 millimeter jack. Now at the time in 2015, I wasn't sure as to why um, Hi-Fi Man had chose to do a double termination. They added like a little extender and that's because the uh, original RE600 were a balanced option, whereas the 600S are not balanced. They're just a regular 3.5 mil jack uh, with, a, with a, a two pole, if not mistaken, uh, connector. And therefore is mainly used to be plugged straight into your smartphone rather than a balanced balanced output. Now the cable itself hasn't improved in the slightest. As you can see it does get tangled quite a little bit and that's because the uh, cable which leads up to the Y split is a braided cable. Now the braided cable has its uh, positives, in other words it does feel like a little bit more premium and feels a little bit more sturdy. However it does add a lot of microphonics which is cable noise so therefore uh, if it brushes against your shirt or anything like that you will hear them uh, straight in your ear canal. Now in order to avoid this instead of wearing them straight down which means basically plugging them in like this I would suggest plugging them over the ear and looping this little cable over the ear. Um, given the cable is pretty long you'll be able to do that and on top of that uh, the, ca uh, the, the cable which leads onto the earphone and the way the design of the earphone is done means that it will actually allow you to do that. So I would highly suggest plugging them over the ear and therefore pretty much eliminate all noise. It's a shame there's no right angle jack um, included. I would have preferred that, but anyway, that's that's the case what Hi-Fi Man have chosen. Now there's a right and left indicator found within the um, the strain relief of the earphones. The earphones are extremely small and very, um, very, um, very well um, I don't know, designed I would say, if you want to sleep on earphones then these type of earphones would pretty much be um, very much comfortable to do so. They're very lightweight as well, made out of their plastic design and therefore it doesn't feel any uncomfortable or anything like that. Due to their small design they won't passively isolate that much noise so it's worth bearing in mind that if you're going to be comparing them to let's say the Brainwaves b 400 you can see the size difference of the two earphones is pretty much night and day. So it's just worth bearing that in mind in terms of the passive noise isolation of these earphones. Um, in terms of fit I had no issues whatsoever with the standard silicon tips of course you can replace it with comply foam tips if you wish so for example the Hi-Fi Man RE800s which I've got over here, I've got Comply Foam tips, they do add a little bit more um, noise isolation and a little bit more comfort but I had no issues whatsoever with the uh, standard um, uh, silicon tips which were included. Now in terms of the um, uh, earphones, other than that there's not much else to comment on, there's no um, there's no three button remote or anything like that uh, to, be, to be shouted about or any microphone quality because there's no microphone included with the earphones um, and, uh, and other than that, there's not much else to talk about. As I said, in terms of build quality wise, I do have my sort of concerns, but at $75, I wouldn't have a, an issue. At $200, however, I do have an issue because the cable noise isn't acceptable at this price range. And on top of that, the build quality specifically by the strain relief does mean that potentially over time, you might lose connection. But that's just me presuming rather than actually knowing. Now, let's talk about the sound quality. Now, the sound quality is interesting to say the least. Now if I were to take these at $200 they pretty much compete exactly with the Brainwaves B400s and in this respect the RE600S stand basically no chance. By that I mean that the soundstage is pretty closed, the mid-range is veiled and sounds unnatural, the bass is not say non-existent but doesn't sound controlled and um, well defined uh, and just overall just the overall sound presentation of the RE600S is completely trumped by the BA400. Uh, which you can see again over here. In comparison to its older brother, the RE800, now again, these RE800s I reviewed initially at around $700 and now can be found for $300 on Hi-Fi Man's website. Again, these come out 
that's on top, they come out on top and get all these three earphones that you can see over here. They're fantastic in terms of their detailing, their mids, um, the, the bass specifically is very precise and very nice sounding. It, it's just really well done. And throughout the frequency range, I was very impressed. That's not the same thing I felt when I listened to the RE600S. However, if I do look at the $75 price tag, however, this earphone becomes some interesting. It's not a fun sounding earphone. It's not one that's going to get you on your toes and make you really want to dance around because it sounds a little bit flat. And I say flat in a loose term just because it sounds a little bit more dull sounding versus more dynamic um, earphones. Now these have dynamic drivers within them, if I'm not mistaken, the eight millimeter or so uh, drivers which are found within them. And there's nothing too special about them. It's just the fact that they sound a little bit flat sounding. But with that said, if it's something that you'd like, so if you want something a little bit more neutral sounding, then the RE600S will be fine. So let me just go through the frequency response, re regardless of the price. The sub bass is somewhat non non-existent. Um, you don't really hear that pronounced rumble that you'd like. Um, the mid bass is somewhat uncontrolled. Um, it has a decent impact and isn't too overpowering, but it does sound a little bit wobbly. The mids sound veiled and sound a little bit pushed back. Um, and whilst the upper mids sound a little bit artificially boost in order to try and counteract that low end, well, mid um, kind of dip, I would say that the RE600S just doesn't deliver what I would expect in the mid range. In terms of the highs, they do sound a little bit sibilant. That means that they do extend pretty well at the top end. However, they do sound a little bit sibilant and a little bit harsh uh, at times, specifically depending on the music you listen to, or let's say um, how, uh, how much you're feeding them, how much power you're feeding them. In other words, if you're using an amplifier uh, or even your phone, you crank up the volume, I think you'll find them a little bit uncomfortable. As for the sound stage, it sounds a little bit narrow, a little bit closed. In um, instrument separation doesn't come out uh, as well. And the width and depth is again pretty narrow and that's pretty much due to the fact that these earphones are pretty small. Now that is my thoughts about the earphones and it's not to say that that's bad but then when you look at $200 then these are completely a waste of money. However when you look at $75 they have a somewhat fit for purpose for people who want a more dull sound and don't want something that's super exciting or, or, or I don't know, boosted in some frequency, then at $75, I can see myself somewhat recommending them. But for most people who listen to music, they'll want something a little bit more exciting. And the RE600S uh, isn't that earphone that will give you that sort of excitement and give you that sort of willingness to want to listen to more. Specifically, when it comes to the soundstage, due to the fact that they sound quite narrow, something like the BA400 or even the cheaper brothers, the BA200s, which can be found for around $75 odd dollars, those earphones will provide a much wider soundstage and much better sound and uh, overall your average Joe will prefer the Brainwaves BA200 for example or even let's say the Sennheiser Momentums or uh, a bunch of other earphones um, out there uh, that will provide that exciting sound that these RE600S's want. So that's pretty much it. It's not to say I don't really recommend them, it's just that I think they're really fit for purpose and for someone who likes flat, neutral sounding earphones, then I think you'll appreciate these. Uh, but again, I can't stress it enough, they're not quite flat, they just sound flat. Um, don't get me wrong, you know, flat sounding earphones are very, very expensive and quite rare to come across. So there we have it, guys. I've been totally dubbed. Um, thank you, Hi-Fi Man, for actually sending me this out for review. Again, this is an honest, unbiased, unsponsored review. Um, if you like this kind of content, make sure you give it a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. Favorite and share and all that good stuff as it'll help the channel grow. All right, guys, I've been totally dubbed. Take care and bye-bye.